Secure is here. It's a brand new patch pen from 2012 that is finally making a comeback. And it's a product like you have never seen before. And I am breaking down how it works and what it does in this video. Hello, it's Camille, Neurobetic and Diabetes Tech Guy. If you are interested in Diabetes Tech, make sure you are subscribed and have the notifications turned on to never miss the latest Diabetes Tech. Now, this patch is not an insulin pump for a very simple reason. The Secure patch only delivers mealtime bolus insulin. So my Omnipod or any insulin pump delivers rapid acting insulin in two ways. It delivers bolus insulin, so a large dose of insulin when you eat a carbohydrate meal, and a tiny dose of insulin every couple of minutes, we call that basal insulin, the background insulin. Well, the secure patch only does mealtime insulins. So when you use a secure patch, you still need to take a background dose of insulin if you require a background dose of insulin. Now, this is a brand new product in a brand new product category. We are going to refer to this new product type as a pen patch. Why is that? Well, because it just replaces your pen uh, for mealtime insulin and is a patch that you wear on your body. So, hashtag pen patch. Now, let's talk about design of Secure. Secure is tiny. It is only eight millimeters thin. I animated it against the Omnipod, as this is the product that you are probably familiar with. So this is just to give you a rough idea of the size. Now, just to be clear, this is just for size comparison. I am not comparing Omnipod against Secure, because they are completely different products. And Omnipod, as an actual insulin pump, requires a lot more engineering, uh, a lot more precision when it comes to dosing, communication protocols, and all of this stuff. So it's very unfair. I'm just giving you a rough idea because my assumption is that you are probably aware of how big Omnipod is, so this is just a reference point. On the side of the patch, there are two buttons. Simultaneous press results in administration of two units of insulin. This is the only way to operate this device. So there is no handheld controller, you fully operate it by just pressing those buttons. And the more insulin you need, the higher amount of presses you need to take. Now because Secure goes up in two unit increments, you cannot dose three or seven units of insulin, you know, any odd number, basically any number which doesn't divide by two, you cannot dose. See, I, I knew that my accountancy degree would come in handy at one point. So I can pretty much assure you that numbers like three and seven do not divide by two. So yeah, you, you can only bolus things like two, four, six, eight, so on and so forth. Each patch can be filled with up to 200 units of insulin, 180 of which is usable as 20 units are used for priming. The system itself does not track your doses, so it is really just a patch which delivers insulin. So you need to record doses, timings and dates manually if you do decide to track your insulin doses. I think this is a super interesting product. For people with diabetes who do not want the complexities of insulin pumps, but want some of the advantages of them. Now for me, when I transitioned to an insulin pump therapy a number of years ago, this was transformational for so many reasons. One of which was flexibility. So I could have small snacks in between my you know, lunch and dinner, for example, and it didn't require an extra injection because I already had the insulin pump attached to me. When I was on multiple daily injections, I personally tried to stick to having breakfast, lunch and dinner and having my snacks with those meals to save myself from having an extra shot. Well, on something like a Secure, because the pump, the patch is attached to you all the time, you can have a small snack and it doesn't require an additional injection. So when is Secure available? Well, now. You see, Secure was FDA approved years ago for the US and C marked for Europe years ago as well. And it was just kind of moving around different companies and 
Secure is the keeping up with the Kardashians of diabetes tech. And the story here is actually kind of fascinating. So I'm actually gonna break it down for you. So it started in San Francisco in early 2000s. It was approved by the FDA in 2010. It was then purchased by Johnson & Johnson in 2012. Remember back in those days, J&J &J was in the diabetes business with the Animus insulin pumps. Then in 2018, a Swiss company bought this patch from J&J &J when they were getting rid of their diabetes business. Most recently, this Swiss company raised some cash to actually roll it out and commercialize it so actually people can get their hands on it. Now to add to all this complexity, Secure, the Swiss company, has actually been developing their own patch called PAQ, which is a four patch pump, which delivers both basal and bolus insulin. Whereas obviously the simplicity patch only delivers bolus insulin. So that's the story of how we ended up with Secure Simplicity. So as you can see, there's been a lot going on with Secure Simplicity and I'm super interested to hear what you have to say about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, if you have a diabetes and you are on multiple daily injections, please let me know. Is this something that you may uh, try? If you are a user, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Please let me know. And I will see you soon in another video. So make sure you subscribe to catch that. And I see you there. Stay safe, stay kind. See you there. Bye.